Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So, I've decided to cut out most of the dilly dallying and um, I've gone to the hot springs, gotten a drink, and we are departing on this new quest. By the way, this is MH Geek here, and today we are gonna do the current events. We're gonna be taking down Royal Ludroff. So, yes, um, we have taken down Royal Ludroff a couple of times already, as you have, as you can possibly recall in the previous few episodes. Um, in multiplayer, so Royal Ludroff is this um, banana looking like monster which is pretty pretty powerful if you're not careful that is. So this is the um, flooded forest at night? Is it? Yeah it should be the flooded forest at night. I mean it's definitely at night but is it the flooded forest? Let me just take a look. Um, where is it? No it's at the island. Oops not the flooded forest. Oh yeah, it's it's not the flooded forest. <laughs> I apologize for that mix up. So this is uh one of the nicest maps I feel actually, because there's many huge open areas for you to find monsters in. Like this is one for example, it's pretty big. Um, area five is also quite big. And the only parts of this map I hate are area three, which is which has that weird narrow corridor there. Connecting the two larger parts and oh crap, that that is just horrendous to fight in. Like there's almost nowhere to dodge. It's, it's just wow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to locate that Royal Ludroff right now. He should be. Oh, he's not there. All right. I guess he will be at area nine or ten. Hmm. He's. Or could he be at area 3? Uh, that's, that's not very helpful, isn't it? I'm just gonna check area 10 first because I believe that is... That, oh yeah! It's the first time my hunt that Rakuhara is actually um, facing against Royal Ludroff, so there will be an ecology cutscene, I forgot! Uh huh. So this episode is just gonna be a, a quick hunt on a quick hunt, action packed and touch and go episode. I'm not gonna draw it out too long because the past few episodes have been quite draggy and my computer is... Yes, oh yes, I have my desktop back right now as you can see um, with the higher quality videos. Hopefully they are higher quality, I, I sincerely hope. Um, and so, yeah, it's been quite taxing on my computer, I don't want it to die. I, I just gotten it sort of prepared, cleaned up. Gosh, that's one angry royal to drop. I don't get close to my harem. It's my harem, not yours. So yeah, anyways. Um, yeah. My desktop is bad. I hope it's able to give you good videos again. And I'm just... I don't want to stress it out too much. And whoa. So as much as possible, I want to keep the video around 20 minutes or less. But um, you know, sometimes this is quite impossible considering that I used to like as if I'm I'm so used to rambling on and on for whatever reason. I just have a lot to say. I have a huge mouth, I can't help it. Actually no, I, I, I can't help it, but oh wow, I missed that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me just concentrate a little bit and stop talking. But then what's the point of a let's play if you don't talk? Oh gosh. Okay, well, so so many, so many, okay, okay. Wow, what what are you slamming over there? Whoa, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow, that that was unexpected. I'm just gonna try and take out some of these minions over here because they're starting to get a little bit annoying. Um, not his minions, his wives, his harem. Um, wow, personal space, bro. Where's the where's the personal space? Oh gosh. I'm gonna try and break his crown and main as usual. If you're a hunter and you don't break parts, then you're not a hunter. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's up to you entirely on um, how you want to hunt your monsters. There's no good, no bad. There's just, um, it's just your preference. As long as you enjoy the game, then do what you like. For me, I find I find a lot of um, I find a lot of satisfaction to be able to. Um, complete the hunt with breaking all, uh, breaking all the parts, or as many parts as I can. 
and uh, I'm still feeling sad about not breaking the Baro's head the last episode. <laughs> oh, how's that? Yes, okay, I broke his crown. Wow, 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 that's a bit too close. Okay, so there goes his crown. That's one out of two done. Um, technically three, but I can't get the tail because it's going to be horrendously difficult to pull. So the fact I'm not even going to bother to try. So I'm still water blighted, so my stamina recovers really slowly. So I'm just going to be extra careful here with stamina management. So what I say by stamina management is basically, I would like um, choosing when to use the stamina and when to let it recover. That's basically what I mean by stamina management. It's very important when you're fighting higher level monsters because some if you if you don't manage your stamina properly, sometimes they may um, the monsters may chain multiple attacks in quick succe succession, and you may not have the time to recover your stamina to allow you to dodge. So that would mean you're in quite a pinch. So yes, stamina management is exceptionally important for um, people that use hunters that use um, weapons like the bow or the dual swords, which uses a lot of stamina. So yeah, and that is unless you drink a mega dash juice or something like that to keep your stamina really really high. So yeah. So stamina, import stamina management is always crucial, but it's not it's not just like only for the two classes of weapons that I said earlier. In general, every weapon should know how to manage their stamina well. Oh, nice! I just finished it right, right during his about to charge. Oh, 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 not yet. So as you can see, things are still going quite smoothly, but keep in mind that it's still a low rank hunt. It's not going to be exceptionally difficult or anything. Well, not just yet, at least. And when I'm trying to shoot my arrows, I always want to aim before I charge fully because the moment it's fully charged, I'll like to release it. So, ah, crap, I couldn't go under his arm. So, when I release it, so I can release it immediately when it's fully charged. So, that saves time on like me holding on the arrow like this and waiting and then aiming and then letting go, which wastes stamina. Because for every second I hold on to my, not every second, for every moment that I'm holding on to the charge, the holding on to the arrow, keeping it charged, I'm wasting stamina. So I'm just gonna let him go to the next area while I go and pick up that shiny over there. And uh, I need to heal up as well. Because, oh, did, did he drop two shinies or? Uh, I must be seeing things. I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna pop another ration as well. Oh, poor Evanko is has gone to rest. So yeah, going to head over to the next area and take on the Royal Ludroth. I'm not going to bother using Pain Balls either because he doesn't skip maps that often. I don't think he does at least. But this should be a fairly easy hunt because, well, well the banana is so huge, so huge. Um, his movements are very predictable and unlike the Baroff, he doesn't run all over the place so often. And where are you going, man? Holy crap! This is, uh, this is gonna drag on for a while if he keeps doing that. <laughs> Just gonna keep chasing him over and over and over again. So yeah. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's behind me. Oh, he's probably going. Yeah, he's going to the waterfall and trying to um, refill his spongy main. His spongy main. So yeah, as you can see, this is what I wanted to show you guys um, back in the multiplayer fight, but it didn't really occur. The Royal Ludroth basically bathes in the waterfall and sort of refills the water content in his main. There's a reason why it's called spongy. I mean, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually think they didn't go right in there. Oh, oh dear, nope, nope, not that. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, I stopped him right in his track so that he could roar. Oh, he's rolling this way. Yep. So anyway, going back onto the oh, he's slipping. Wow, that is that is really fast. Oh, there you go. You're not getting away. Oh wow, what what? Are you, what's up? <laughs> so going back to the point of uh, stamina management, 
if you can aim without having to use the R like this, it also helps. But it can be difficult, and you probably have seen in many other previous videos, many times, many examples where I've missed miserably, so yeah, you gotta be careful. You have to be really confident that you can do it well, so you can just, you can basically just um, run, turn and shoot instantly, run, like, draw a bow, run, and you see the monster running past you, turn and shoot. Things like that. This really helps uh, and saves time in on aiming. And if you're really, really good at it, it's well good for you. <laughs> so, uh, something like that. But obviously, um, not so point blank. So, it's been something that I've been trying to master for a long time, but obviously, using this to aim is still the most precise method. Oh my gosh, please don't. Oh, here it comes with that crazy spitting groove. Oh, got out of the way just in time. He's gonna do a third one. Nope, he's not. He's still limping. He's um, trying to get away. So right now, I'm just gonna try... Oh, yep. It completely worked there for me. So yeah. It saves me the time from having to aim properly. As in because I know that the arrows would hit. It would make their mark. Yep. Then, oh, oh, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, dude. There's no space. Or... Oh, yeah. Well, they're just trying to move out of the way while I carve safely. Uh huh. So the Ludrov don't annoy me. So now I'm just gonna quickly catch some bugs because where are they? Here they are. Well, gathering resources are important, as I said many, many times and many, many episodes back. Uh, yeah, flash bugs. God, but oh, that's uh, that's very helpful. So, oh my gosh, Ludov, please, no, thank you. Silver Cricket, oh yeah. Um, if I'm not wrong, the Silver Cricket gives me more points and, um, yeah. Zenny, so, not too shabby. More points are always welcome. More money is also always welcome. Why not? Quest complete, or quest clear in this case. Atmosphere, yes. Alright. That took barely 10 minutes. That's great. Yes, I would like to say. So, one more thing to note is that um, I actually did not bother crafting any other armor sets. If you realize, I'm still running this same old Juggy set for like the longest time. <laughs> so basically, what I feel, I mean... It's, it's completely up to you, really. What I feel is that in low rank, uh, because the quests are relatively easy, it's not going to be very difficult. Uh, and um, so what I did was that I upgraded my Jagiyama to level, tr level, level 3. Yep, just a little defense upgrade. These do not add any other stats, but just defense. So um, I do not need to actually craft any other armor or whatsoever yet. But what I feel is that um, the Jagi armor, for bow users at least, because it gives the attack, it's really really useful for beginners as I said uh, in like one of the first few episodes where I was comparing, I was recommending that, that you either get Jagi or Azuros armor for armor sets for your beginning hunters. Well now I've unlocked a lot more like the Rogi's, Rogi's vest. Um, Rogi's set basically gives um, status, uh, some stamina and Constitution gives you decreased stamina usage. Yeah, so basically it saves on your stamina while you charge your bow, etc. Perception allows you to find out where the monster is instantly without a paintball the moment the game starts. Lagombi set gives you evasion, which is always useful. Like, I wouldn't say no to evasion, definitely, but um, because the monsters in low rank, they are not too challenging. I don't, I'm not faced with a lot of chance, a lot of um, what you call situations where I'm challenge to always dodge through attacks, so evasion is uh, not exactly on my highest priority list for low rank. And the Ludroff set, um, it gives me stamina, water attack, hunger, I mean, uh, if you have good stamina management, then there's not really a need for this. And oh yeah, do note that I'm only covering the range sets, I'm not going to cover the melee sets. So for this is a Blade Master, I'm, not, I'm just going to skip this. Um, 
This is a Gana set, yes. Lasting power, speed setup, fast charge. Fast charge is actually very useful because it means that um, basically your charging time for your bow to hit, hit the highest level is shortened. It, uh, it also affects melee weapons as well, but I'm just going to cover the range one here. Lasting power means um, the items you use, like for example demon drops or armor seeds, things that increase your, your statuses temporarily, they, their status effects will last longer. Precision only affects bow guns, so I'm not really concerned. Uh, speed setup means that you can set up traps much faster. So this is actually a pretty, pretty decent uh, set that could be ideal for a low rank gunner, but it requires pale extract, bomb berry, cactus flower. Okay, cactus flower and bomb berries are easy to get, no big deal. But pale extract, if I'm not wrong, that is from Giginox, and I've yet to unlock that. So we shall see. So the buff towel is a, uh, it's just a gaming set. It's, it's really for fun. It's basically the Yukumo buff towel where you wear in which when your character goes into the hot springs. So yeah, I'm not really gonna bother about that. Um, it doesn't give you much as well. Just <laughs> fate and lasting power and negative attack. To be honest. So I've covered the Zenoga vest before. The Zenoga set, the normal up. It's very very useful for um, bows if they want to do as much damage as possible. Gloves off is uh, basically latent power. Uh, at certain points of time, when you meet a certain condition, such as like fighting a monster for like 100 seconds or something like that, or when the monster gets no, not enraged, but or you take a certain amount of damage, then you have this damage. And I'm not sure critical, but you have this damage boost at the very least, which helps you. Inc it increases your damage. That's yeah, that's it. And the thunder attack is obviously useful as well because. As I've said before, or maybe this is the first time I say it, maybe? Um, most monsters in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd are weak against lightning or thunder. So, yeah, having thunder attack is always helpful if you have a thunder weapon equipped, that is. Um, thunder attacks or like fire attacks do not work unless you have the weapon of the same element equipped as well. So I don't know why this has suddenly become like some guide for armor crafting and nonsense, but um, yeah, I hope, I hope that's helpful to any other hunter out there. So I can't really craft a lot of things right now. Ooh, the I can craft this. Interesting. Should I? Um. Oh, I can't craft the uh, ah, spike berries. I can grow those. No, no biggie. But I do need more pumpkins. That's for sure. I can't craft this. Can I? Uh. Oh, I don't have a Herculdrome yet. Ah. Herculdromes are one of the rarest. Um. Well, I'm not sure how rare they are right now. I can't remember, but. They are pretty rare for a low rank to actually get your hands on a Hercule drone. So I will... Yeah, I don't know. I really want a new set because, well, new sets always look cool. So, yeah, change of taste and... Well, why not? Okay, so first off anyways, if I'm ever going to make this set, I shall have to grow some... Scatter Nuts. Yep, and... What I need here? Bomb berries. Uh huh. Scatter nuts, bomb berries, and cactus flowers. Okay, and hopefully I can get a Hercule room somewhere somehow. So before we leave, let's just quickly talk to the to the village chief. So, yep, we are gonna have to prepare ourselves a bit more because we are going to face a Rathian, widely viewed as the queen of the sky. So, yep, take care of her and. So yep, that will be the next urgent quest we will be facing and completing this quest would mean that we have access to the 4 star village quests. So, and after the 4, 5 and 6, we should be done with all the village quests. But that's not all to the game because there's still the online guild hall to complete. I mean not online guild hall, the guild hall quest to complete. So yep, thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this video, you've enjoyed and I've shared some personal experiences or uh, knowledge information that could be useful to you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, not subscribe, oh my gosh, my, my English is bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um, have a good weekend, MH Geek signing out.